Hello everybody, my name is Nemo and I'm playing Act of War. <laughs> I'm definitely not taking a hand with seven lands in it. One land is also no good. Alright, glad I got something out of this. Just immediately go get my planes because I don't want lag to screw me over on his turn and I don't think it's going to matter for his play that I'm getting a planes right now. So I'm pretty sure he would have played that thing either way. So, anyways, uh, let's see, let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I'll play a veteran armor first. I'd rather him kill that if he's going to kill any of these. So that's that's my move. That is my move. The only thing important to play turn three already has haste, so whatever. Um, and I wouldn't have mana open to use the Boros Guild Mage, so. I will definitely trade here. Like, no question asked. I will definitely trade. Wow, he doesn't have a second land. Alright. Wow. Okay. Well, turn 4 I can play this and give it haste. Same turn. And then I'll be attacking for 4 damage. If he doesn't drop land here, he's pretty much toast. So the reason I'm playing active war... And I'll get another game, don't worry. The reason I'm playing active war is because... Um, from the tier... tier Four decks, uh, this deck, and <clears throat> also, no, I don't want you to tap the mana like that. Jeez, game. <laughs> um, this deck, and let me think, what what was the other deck? Oh yeah, Celestial Light, our decks have changed most since the deck builds. Um, this is a little bit of a slower build, but as you can see, it can still be successful um, in dealing some early damage, so... It's fine either way. Okay, now he's now he's at land drop two, but it's gonna be pretty late for him. He's he's just gonna use that for chomp blocking now. Um, but I mean, technically, it's still possible for him to uh, to win this, I guess. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, active war and celestial light. If I have to choose between those two, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure most of you have already seen all the slow and and not so fun to play Celestial Light life gain trickery deck shenanigans so I chose to go with this deck instead um, and yeah he does have a removal spell here he's at 8 I mean he could turn this game around still there's a chance if all he has now is removal and you know if, if basically if he's built his deck correctly then he should have a chance of being able to still dig his way out of this uh, so yeah, first strike or haste, none of that is relevant right here. I'm going to bring him down to 4, and it uh, looks like I am not drawing anything else right now. So that could very well mean that uh, that's, that's what he needs, basically. That's what he needs. And I would be very sad if I still lost this, but it's not out of the question that he, he still is able to scrape together. Yeah, he, ha he has a removal spell. If he's bringing that, then he has a removal spell. So he's going to kill one of my guys, and if I was him, I would do it now. I would kill the Boros Guild Mage now, before I get to drop something and give it haste. But that's just me. Um, it's inevitable that he has a removal spell. That's, uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter what I get there. Um, play this immediately. I mean, he has to kill the Guild Mage anyway, so... I don't know, I, I didn't really think of the fact that, you know... <laughs> so the thing here is, I was just like, if I get something, I need to play it immediately so he can't kill my Boros Guildmage in, before I drop it, and I can then give it a haste, but since I was in that much hurry to drop it, I didn't consider the fact that I wouldn't have the mana to actually play it, <laughs> to actually give it a haste to, but anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, that is the victory there, and I'm going to get a second game, see you in a second... And actually, you know what, I'll play Celestial Light, so that'll be cool. Alright, seems we're back in business, let's uh, keep this hand, seems good. Only two lands, but I've got uh, four things I can cast with those two lands, so it seems seems good to me. And uh, hopefully I can stall and uh, get to playing this Beacon of Immortality, which is kind of ridiculous to have a six cast when I only have two lands, but hey, I mean, four ca spells I can cast, I will take that hand. Seems alright. Um, and I got my third land, so it's all good. It's all good in the hood. 
or something like that. Let's play this before he somehow unsummons this guy. I don't know. <laughs> and gain my one life from it. Um, but this pretty much means I'm going to gain a ridiculous amount of life from anything that is being played ever. And that's why I want to get those guys out there first. Um, because I care more about me gaining life than him losing life. Although if he if he is playing the mill deck then that could be different. Anyway, let's get in there. So there is something to say for uh, actually dropping Knight of Meadow Grain there before attacking. Is if he has like something that only works during attack step then that can get rid of one of those soul wardens. But I mean that's like chastise. That's in this deck, not not in his whatever deck he's playing. Um, I would be I would be upset if he was playing Mind Storms, by the way, and then just dropped like Mountain and then killed all three of my guys there. <laughs> that would be upsetting. Um, anyways, uh, so yeah, I'm playing Celestial Light now. Uh, I w I didn't plan it like this, but if I get the chance to also play a different deck, since I have to actually get another game in, then you know what I will um, I will just play a different deck as well. Cause uh, you know this way I get to show you both decks and. I, I like some of these these quote unquote bad decks. I mean the tier four decks because they are kind of on the brink of still being good, but um, they're sort of more like the Jules twenty twelve decks where they were you know it it was still worth playing some of those ridiculous big bomb creatures because the deck itself isn't that amazing that you don't need them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think I'll just recommit and bliss that thing and get on in there. Um, the annoying thing is I he can still use his his uh, his ability now, so that's why I was thinking about maybe short supply sharing it, but meh. Um, I mean he can gain card advantage from it, but I am dealing him four damage a turn, so all right. Well, that um, that changes things. Well, either he has it or he doesn't. I mean, there's no way I'm going to kill him this turn. So, I'm going to just hope that he doesn't have time warp. And otherwise, it's going to be a quit, because I'm not sitting through that. <laughs> and that would mean we get to actually have a third game, so... You know, that's that's decent. Um, doesn't use it. Alright. Maybe he doesn't know how to use... The mirror, or he doesn't have any spell he wants to put under it. That would be... I wouldn't understand that. Um, maybe maybe he's screwed by lag. I don't know. Because he's not doing anything. Um, I don't know what is going on as Greg. Will you tell me what is going on as Greg? Are you screwed by lag? What is going on as Greg? Will you pass the turn and allow me to attack Ness Greg? Um, for two, okay, so that's going to be... Yep, that card. Disperse, alright. Interesting. Um, yeah, he could have just put that under it while it was resolving, but whatever. I'm not complaining. I am not complaining. So he's only taking two, or is he... No. He's taking four, because this means I threaten lethal next turn, so kind of have to do that. He's going to make me pick up the uh, Knight of Meadow Grain, though, and that way I still don't threaten lethal next turn. That's kind of annoying. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it does mean he has to use it on that rather than being able to pick up... Well, he could get rid of the Recumbent Bliss, I guess. That would be uh, a move he could make. Um... No, because then I still threaten lethal. So yeah, so he can't actually pick this thing up or anything like that. So I'm forcing him to... Okay, he's going to get the guy with life gain, the big one, uh, the 4-6 dude. That would be a decent thing to get. Um, pretty much the only thing worth getting with bribery, I would imagine. So he's just looking for, you know, where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh wait, the double life gain, dude. Huh. That is strange. Hmm. Well. 
that's interesting. The guy that gains him that wow, wow you I guess it walls off my one ones. <laughs> yeah, hmm. Alright, well interesting. No tax. Go. Uh, I mean it walls me off and I guess it means he can gain I uh, I would have just gotten the four six. I, I don't understand this, but whatever. Going to make me pick that up again, that's that's fine. As long as I you know, in time I'll draw another card and be able to play two frets in one turn. So, I mean, it is really annoying, but it's not unwinnable for me just yet. Um, but it is getting there. I mean, and that's what, five lands? Yeah, okay. So I've got one turn. Because he is playing badly and should have already won. Um, but I have one turn. Well, I'm not going to kill him that turn, but... You know, that's the way it is. That is the way it is. See, I, I was close to it, though. I was close to it. Alright, well, GG. And I'll see you in the next game. Alright, hello. And welcome back. Uh, no land. Alright. Keep. So I'm playing Mindstorms because, well, from the other deck, there's, decks, there's nothing I really changed since the deck build. Um, I'd made one change here is to add some of those other five drops other than the Spellbound Dragon. Ones that steal your opponent's permanence for a turn. And also a second one of the elements because one of the elements is ridiculously good. Um, but overall there's not a whole lot to change about this deck. And the same is true for Rogue's Gallery. I, I don't think I changed a single card there. And um, the other deck... In tier 4. I didn't change anything about that either. So basically I'm just playing the deck I like. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, I will play Cerebral Vortex. I prefer that to playing Compulsive Research here. So that's what I'm going to do. Mystic J. Mystic J. Mystic J. Mystic J. Razor Fin. Hey, what? Come on, what? Wow. Alright, well done game. Good job. Good job everybody, good job. That was really super silly. Um, in that case, one of the elements. Because that's something he should probably counterspell. Well, I think he got screwed on the leg there too. <laughs> I don't know, like, wow, that was that was so stupid. I didn't even get to... I'm going to just... Alright, what is he getting even? Huh. That's interesting. What would he... I guess the Sphinx, yeah. The 6-6 the six, six Sphinx with Shroud. That's the best thing to get. Because they can't fucks with it. One would... Okay, he gets that. I can totally kill that, so... Why would he get that, in fact? Uh, I can't kill it yet. I need to actually draw some removal here, but I could potentially kill it, so I would have just gotten something else. Right, that's two damage, that's not enough. Um, do, 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 do. Mm. I think I just drop a Spellbound Dragon and let him hit me with that. Is that it? Because I need to get it down either way. Um, I would have liked for this thing to have been the uh, free damage card. Um, and I'm sure I would have drawn it by now if I would have been able to Cerebral Vortex earlier. Um, yeah, I gotta drop my Spellbound Dragon and let me let him hit me with that. It's, it's sad, but it's true. It's what I gotta do. <laughs> Rhyming like a boss. Alright. That makes sense. And hit me for 7 and potentially more than 7. Alright, he's just going to cycle through with the Spellbound Dragon. Probably... Whoa. Really? You dropped the... What? Alright. I guess he then time warps. Alright. Alright. What I don't understand is why he didn't bring the 4-4 here. That's strange and peculiar. Uh, there's nothing I need to do here. So, 
I don't understand why he wouldn't just attack with that thing too, but whatever. Um, I guess he's not counting on the fact that I can block. Let's see what he gets. Yep. Stop. Blocker. And block there. And take four. So he's pretty much dumped his best cards here, so unless he has a follow-up, he could be in trouble for doing that and not... Alright. Alright, that's decent. The thing is, if I can... Stop timer! Come on, game! So anyway, I've got 9 damage right here. Got two more damage right here. That's 11. That's not enough yet. Um, but I could potentially draw into removal for this thing. Which is really what I need to do. Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. Drop the second Spellbound Dragon. I won't need it. Most likely... Um, and... Uh, Kill that this thing, and yes, he does get to follow footsteps, but that thing won't have a haste. And I'll say go. And I can potentially deal with that with any burn, and then be able to get in for lethal. So this is just the way to win the game, pretty much. That's what I'm going for here. Um, and I need to make a creature as well. Um, Pretty sure I need to make a free free token here. That's kind of hard to tell because what cards could I draw where I need that mana? You know, that's that's the question. But oh, this go. All right. Well, finally I get to tap this Razorfin Hunter. Jeez, <laughs> he could have been down a lot, a lot more damage here. Um, so. Let's attack first. These are instants, so... Let's see what he does. Oh man, that's something I would have used my mana for. Alright, well, I, I'll dump it now. Because that forces him to block. There. What? Alright, I'm guessing he has a removal spell then. Just, just guessing. Just guessing. Uh, I mean a counter spell. Sorry. So, so let me let me think about this, guys. Mm -hmm. That would kill him. Either thing would kill him. The question is, does he have the counter spell now? What is the what are the odds of him drawing it if I let him on tap? I think it's better to pass to his turn and then do it. Because that way, if he wants to counterspell it, he has to use his mana now. So. Does he have the counterspell? That is the question. He does. Ah, oh, darn it. Alright, well, I can still make another flying token and block his guy. So I'm not dead yet. And I have to. S I can see what he gets first. And then I can untap and electrolyze him. Stop. Flyer. Jeez, this lag, I really don't want it to screw me over. On stuff like this. And block here. And then... I get... Okay, well, all you can have now is mana leak. That at least puts him out of cancel. Alright, no, never mind, he can still have cancel. Um, so I get to hit him for one though. I'm getting there. I mean, Electrolyze does kill him here. If he doesn't have the counter spell. Um, mm 
Let's attack first, because I'll draw. And we'll just dump Thunderstrike, because that's good enough to kill his Spellbound Dragon there. Alright. Do I let him untap again? That is the question. I've gotten another island, so I can survive another turn. Okay, I'll let him untap, so he has to use his mana on counterspelling this on his turn. And let's see if he has another counterspell there. No, GG, ha! Phew! <laughs> Close! <laughs> oh, that was getting... that was. But I could have survived another turn with the one of the elements. And still killed him with the uh, tap dude, so... Yeah, one of the elements, ladies and gentlemen. I just love that card. It's so, so good in situations like that. It's ridiculous. Anyways, my name has been Nemo. My name will still be Nemo next time. Hope you enjoyed these, uh, these games. And uh, we'll see you with uh, tier list number three. I mean, uh, tier three decks. <laughs> see you next time. Thanks for watching.